So as we approach the international break, it's time to take a pause and really think about how each of the biggest teams in Europe, maybe not even the biggest, will make the list, how they've performed so far in the season. And I'm going to break it down to my top 10 best teams in Europe at this very moment based on the start of the season. Oh my God, cue the comments. Who's going to make it? Francis is going to talk about Arsenal. Is he going to shit on there? Is he going to shit on everyone? Probably will so. But starting things off, number 10. Borussia Dortmund. Now, don't be fooled by that amazing spree where they've banged in five goals, six goals, four goals consecutively and were devouring teams. While they're playing such attractive football going forward and they have the uh, joint leaders in terms of goals scored in the Bundesliga, they've still lost two games in the competition and fallen uh, a few points behind Bayern Munich in their early stage is going to be a hard thing to make up at this point. So, despite the fact that they look dominant going forward and if this was a top 10 attacking teams, they'd be in the top three, I think, Still, overall, I still think there's ways to go for Borussia Dortmund to prove themselves to get further up the ranks. Now, this team, very surprising. They've proved to be a thorn in the dominant French side that is PSG. Nice with Balotelli banging in the goals for them. It's just it's amazing to include them in this list with the resurgence of Balo, even though he was up to his old antics and getting sent off after scoring. They're unbeaten in eight. Least goals conceded in Ligue 1. And even though they're not performing as well in the Europa League, and I think that may hinder them in terms of getting further up the rankings, they're still proven to be a dominant team in the French Football League, beating teams like Monaco, yet to come up against PSG. We're excited to see that game. But after PSG have been so dominant in the past several years, I would say, in Ligue 1, it's, it's refreshing to see another team push up the ranks. So they deserve their place on this list, whatever way you want to put them. At number eight, wait for it, he's giving them credit. Arsenal. Now, since they lost to Liverpool in the first game of the season, everyone's questioning whether or not Arsene Wenger was going to get things right. Brought in Mustafi, it's really helped this squad. And since then, they've been unbeaten. Since that game against Liverpool, they've been on to beat their opponents uh, and, and devour several opponents, showing that attacking threat, specifically an impressive performance against Chelsea. That first half was one of the most dominant first halves of football I've seen from Arsenal in years. And I think that the thing to be said about this team is they're growing in belief. And the more they grow in belief, the more they're going to push higher up my rankings. But at the moment, they're going to sit at eighth. And at seventh, despite a poor start to the season in La Liga, Barcelona, yeah, facing injuries with Lionel Messi, still 100% in the Champions League, which is enough to keep them high on my rankings. But despite drawing several games and losing against Celta Vigo recently, they can't push higher up at the moment. They really need to figure things out without Lionel Messi. Now, there can be an argument made that they should be a little higher up and not in the good way, maybe 8th or ninth. But at the moment, Barcelona, with proving themselves still in the Champions League, beating Celtic 7-0. And I know beforehand people would be like, ah, it's Celtic. Manchester City didn't have as easy a task playing against the mighty Glasgow Celtics. So Barcelona are dominant going forward when they're clicking, but still some work to do. At number six, the other London club, Tottenham Hotspur. The only team left unbeaten in the Premier League. And even if they were unbeaten, and the only reason it kind of holds Tottenham a little bit higher instead of maybe being in the top five, the team that's below them, uh, I'll touch on why they're in top five, is their Champions League performance hasn't been there yet. And while I, I want to maybe just hold them accountable to their domestic league performance, Tottenham Hotspur for the squad they have and the dominance that they've shown uh, in the Premier League really shouldn't have dropped points early on in the Champions League, especially in a group that's fairly easy. So I think that that's the only reason that will hold them in this position. At number five, a club that is definitely struggling in domestic form, but still proving themselves to be good enough against certain teams is Real Madrid. Unbeaten in La Liga, but three straight draws is not good enough for Zinedine Zidane's men if they want to push back to the top of being the best team in Europe. So uh, still unbeaten overall in Champions League play and in La Liga. So until they lose, they're still going to maintain themselves as the top five team in the world for me. Number four, Manchester City. Now this team could have easily been number one until the last two games. I probably would have put them as the best team in Europe the way they were performing until they hit that snag against Celtic. Celtic showed some signs of weakness at the back, Kolarov exposed, uh, dropping three goals against a squad that really shouldn't be scoring three goals on them considering that they play in different leagues. Easily one of the least competitive leagues in comparison to one of the most. So uh, I think that that definitely showed signs of weakness. And then Tottenham Hotspur saw that weakness and they exploited it. And therefore Manchester City will have to settle with being fourth. Now that being said, this, take those two games away. They were dominant early on in the season. This is a squad that uh, were just really discarding opponents. And one of the most impressive performances you have to take into consideration. A team can go eight games unbeaten but yet to really face a task. I think that Manchester City faced a tough task going to Old Trafford and coming away with a good 2-1 victory against a Manchester United that at that point were really in form. So that is one of the main reasons why Manchester City still are one of the best teams in Europe at the moment for me. Number three, 
the German champions, FC Bayern. Again, they struggled at the weekend. They've yet to lose in Bundesliga play, but they did draw and a loss to Atletico Madrid in the Champions League has shown that despite the fact that they're still as dominant, still winning games at home, still looking uh, as the usual FC Bayern that we all know and love, they've really yet to prove themselves as the best team in Europe at the moment because they couldn't beat that team, Atletico Madrid, that just seems to be their kryptonite at the moment in the Champions League. So until they prove themselves to be better than those teams that seem to be just holding themselves a little bit higher than them, FC Bayern will have to settle with third. And second, Juventus. Now, again controversial, they've lost a game in Serie A, but it's just the way they're performing at the moment. They're still top of the league, won seven, lost one and drawn one. Um, and I think that the way they're showing signs of promise going forward, they're clicking, the moving pieces are fitting in well, Higuain's playing well with Dybala up top. Even though they lost that game at Inter Milan early on, they're still not a team that's more dominant in the world, at home I think, than Juventus. So uh, until they really slip up, they've still got a tough task I think to play against some of the bigger teams coming up, but they still look to be one of the better teams having started the season. Uh, already so through the first eight games of uh, the Serie A and the first couple of games in the Champions League they still look dominant I think Juventus deserve their place as the second best team in Europe at the moment and number one they don't get enough credit whatsoever but I'm giving you the credit right here Diego Simeone's men unbeaten in all competitions congratulations to them sitting top of La Liga beating a team like FC Bayern this is the thing that has to be said. Despite a stuttery start, people are saying, oh, they're drawing games, they didn't strengthen enough in the window. Who's beat them? They've conceded a measly two goals in La Liga. They're still the best defensive powerhouse. Drop the pad. No better team in Europe at the moment than Atletico Madrid. You may agree, disagree. You may have already left in outrage at the fact that I had Arsenal still lesser than Barcelona and Real Madrid. All my opinion. So again, argue with me in the comment section below. Let me know what you think. Francis underscore Maxwell on Twitter. Francis Maxwell host on Instagram. Peace. Thank <laughs> you.